Yo, what's going on? We are literally just a few hours after the Women's Championship Marathon here in Budapest, and I have the pleasure of speaking with the top American, Lindsay Flanagan, who crushed it out there today. Lindsay, how are you? I'm good. Um, I'm, uh, you know, it's nice to be here. I feel like, you know, you're kind of on this high after a race, but I yeah. definitely will crash uh, okay. later tonight. So, like, I also kind of want to apologize for, like, making you do an interview, no, like, is, so few hours after. This so is few great. I got to okay. eat, and now okay. I'm here, so. Um, I have like a million questions and so they're gonna be kind of random but we'll that's great just like we can unpack it because I honestly haven't like thought about it yet so okay. this will be like the first time I'm talking about it okay oh, okay <laughs> yeah. cool cool so like I saw you a couple weeks ago yes you were saying you're looking for top 10 mm -hmm. came in ninth. Mm -hmm. how do you feel about ninth? yeah um, I'm really happy with it I mean main goal was like top five on like my best day okay. top 10 on like a pretty solid day mm -hmm. and just kind of given how I've run in the heat before mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty happy happy that I was able to hold it together um, and kind of finish as high as I did. Okay. Um, were you nervous? Because I was watching on the loop course. Mm -hmm. There was a giant lead pack. There was. 10 or 11 women did. Yeah. Um, and you weren't in it. I was not. <laughs> and so I was like, is this good or is this bad? Yeah. What were you thinking? So the, it was funny, like, so we're in a big pack and then there was a little bit of a breakaway and I'm looking and I'm like, those women are not going to be able to hold this, like, I mean, I wasn't looking at a watch, but it felt like a little bit fast mm -hmm. and it was funny like once we kind of went around the bend all of a sudden we were I just maintained my pace I was like I'm not it's just way too early to like be doing a fart lick and I just maintained yeah. my pace and all of a sudden we were all back in the same pack again so okay. yeah our kind of our goal coming in was I learned in New York last year when it was hot like we were doing a lot of like back forth back forth and I think I wasted so much energy so this time I was like just run steady like just okay. find something that feels good and like people are going to come back to you so you don't need to like you okay. don't need to be doing all that motion. Yeah, I mean, because I feel like that was a veteran move, because yeah. I feel like a lot of that pack, I don't think a lot of them finished no, the race. No, um, Because I, mean, I think that, that that effort took too much out of people. Yeah, and there was also an issue, um, so there was like our personal bottle stations, and then right after, immediately, there was sponges mm -hmm. and things like that. So people were like surging into the bottles, coming back, and then surging again, but I actually had um, my, uh, the person handing me the bottles give me an ice bag every time, so I didn't have okay. to go for the sponges. I just like stuck the ice bag in the back and I think that was the way to go because I didn't have to deal with any of the, the other nonsense. Yeah, the pace changes right at the aid stations were wild. It's bananas. You're it was like a sprint. <laughs> it was. It was crazy. And you're trying to like be calm but then like and people are like shoving and yelling and it's like it got really dramatic out there and I was yeah. like, you know what? I am just going to like do my thing, like yeah. get my bottle and then I always found after we like caught up again. Yeah. So it was fine. Like I would just see them, like the women would just start like flagging their people down. Yeah. They were yelling and there was just like it was chaos it was pure chaos yeah, yeah there was like a couple like words were exchanged between some oh, people okay. and like, it was actually kind of funny I was like oh it's <laughs> gonna like heat okay. it out here <laughs> but uh, yeah so I just was like okay I've been there I've done that I'm not gonna do the whole surging at the stations okay. just like find an effort that feels like you're maintaining it and like just stick with that okay and then like going into the fourth lap you were running with another woman and then you made a move and you were just you just took off yeah can you tell us what was going through your mind at that point yeah so it was funny I was running I think at that point someone said you're in um, you guys are 12th and 13th and I was like oh no I don't want to be 12th and 13th and like I could see a couple people in front of me that looked like they were slowly imploding so I was like all right if you drop her here like you can slowly pick off a few more people so then um, yeah I guess like we kind of parted ways at that point and I mean when you're the one doing the passing it's very fun like you're getting momentum yeah. and I've been there before where you're the one getting passed and it's horrible so I was like just be the one to like make the moves which okay. is nice yeah I mean like you passed with authority and it looked like you had just a lot left mm -hmm. um, is that how you felt yeah, it was, well, it was tough. Um, kind of going into the last lap, I felt really good. And I was like, okay, if you just kind of maintain this effort, like you're probably going to maintain your place because um, you can kind of tell when you're running with no one's really cheering for someone like right behind yeah. you. You're like, okay. I think I'm okay. So like looking back now, I'm like, should have I like risked it a little more and tried to like push mm. that last 10K and like maybe you implode a little bit. Mm. Um, I mean, maybe I went like a little bit safer, but I mean, I can't be that upset about it. Like yeah. it was another, it was a good experience. Well, I mean, like it, 
at the end, I saw your finish, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, she's got so much energy left. <laughs> she, she looks great. <laughs> um, you did look great. Um, you're coming through. Yeah. Uh, you blow a kiss to the crowd. Yeah. Your, your <laughs> arms are up. Um, what was going through your mind at that point? Yeah, I mean, I was just so happy. I mean, <laughs> I, I didn't, I mean, there's always an element of like, how is this going to go when it's um, not ideal? And so like, I, it was one of those days anything could happen. So I think just like actually executing my race the way, because like sometimes I go into a race and you're like, this is my plan. You get 5K and you throw it out the window. And this time I felt like, no, I'm going to like stick to this plan and see how it goes. So yeah, I was happy. I was proud. Like I knew people stayed up till like two in the morning okay. to watch this. And yeah. then I was like, I don't know what cool thing can I like do at the end? I had like okay. nothing in my mind. So I was just like, yeah, let's okay. do this. Awesome. Um, Very cool. Yeah. So. Um, and then your sister and your dad were also on the course. They were. I found yes. them uh, a couple times. That's fantastic. Uh, over the course of the morning. How, how was it to have them or to know that they were there cheering you on? Yeah, it was really cool. Um, I mean, ASICS has this house right in the center, which this is where we are right now. And yeah, they kind of like were right around here. I saw them. Like I had, um, I mean, I feel like there was 50 ASICS people out there just okay. screaming for me. And like I was running with Natasha for a while. So that mm -hmm. was fun to, to help each other. But it was cool. I mean, anytime people fly across the world to, to watch yeah. you run, you're like, I have to, I have to show up. Yeah, cool. Um, speaking of that, like it looked like in the beginning, like it, like you, Kira, Natasha was up there too. Yeah. Like, were you intentionally working together or were you just kind of bunched up? Because it seemed like it started a little slow. Yeah, it did start slow. I can't even remember exactly what we went like through halfway and you would probably know better than me. But um, yeah, I mean, I figured we would all kind of be up there and then I know Natasha pretty well. So we were like exchanging sponges and like bottles. And then um, Kira and I before were kind of like, okay, if we can work together, like let's, let's do that. So yeah, we just kind of found ourselves up there and I think we, you know, helped each other as best we could. Do you feel like the, the sauna protocol helped? I think it helped a ton. I mean, yeah. so yeah, you were in Boulder yeah. and we're running and it's, I mean, it's 80, but it doesn't really feel like 80 because it's dry. So I did four weeks of like five times a week for 20 minutes in the sauna, like as soon as you're done running. And I think it helped a lot because um, maybe I was just thinking about other things, but I was honestly not really thinking about the weather when I was running. Like that was okay. like the least thing in my mind. So I'm like, yeah. it must have, it must have helped. Okay. Yeah. And then for this race, was this the first race where you switched? your hydration and nutrition? It was, yeah. Okay. It was a game changer. So I did a sweat test uh, with right. precision hydration right. and fuel um, back, this was probably back in June, oh. to figure out like, okay, what's, like how much sodium do you actually lose and what's your sweat rate? Mm -hmm. And so we like dialed that in and that was the best, like my stomach's felt, best like my body's okay. felt. So obviously like it, fueling was always one of those things. I'm like, oh, I think I'm doing it right. And then you're like, oh, I'm actually not. And this okay. could actually really make a difference. So okay. yeah, working with them has been great. They overnighted me bottles because my bag got lost. It was a whole thing. Uh, but I think figuring out that was um, that was huge for me. Okay. And then with the, the missing bag, mm -hmm. you did have your racing shoes, though. I did. You? I had okay. my shoes. I had my kit. I did not have socks. So it was this okay. hysterical thing where, like, ASICS brought me, like, 20 pairs of socks to, oh, okay. to try for race day. And then... Uh, were they people's socks? Or were no, they, they, like... Were clean. They well, were I'm new. just, like... Because I'm, like, I don't think that they're selling socks No, no, they're not. Week, so. I don't I don't know where they okay. found these socks, but yeah, I, I like someone came back from the track with just like a bag of socks for me. I was like, oh, okay. this is great. Um, yeah, and I had a couple people offer. They're like, just in case we got backups. Okay. But then I think it was like a good omen because yesterday at 7 a.m. I woke up and the bag was there. So Oh, did it? Okay. So we came 24 hours before oh, the race. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not that I really needed anything anymore. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then let's talk a little bit about after the race. It was crazy hot. It was. I mean, you were well hydrated and fueled, mm -hmm. but like going into drug testing mm -hmm. like is everyone just like yeah we're gonna be in here for a couple hours or did it go smoothly um, for me actually I must have hydrated well because I was in and out in like 30 okay. minutes okay. which is not okay. super normal but right. um, general consensus was that it was gonna be a very long day um, yeah. so I was like yes I crushed the, the drug okay. testing <laughs> <laughs> so like it's like uh, you know I may have not gotten first on the day but yeah, like PR getting but out of, exactly. of drug testing exactly I was like we take small victories okay. <laughs> so did that yeah we were in and out pretty quick but uh Lorna Saltpeter, she was in there. She's yeah. like, oh, I'm going to be in here for hours. I was like, oh, oh yeah. all right, well, best of luck. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> like, I'm done. Yeah, like, See you get later. out of here. Um, and then what did, like, what did you do, like, right after you got out? Uh, yeah, so that we, point? they got us a cab back to the hotel, okay. showered, and yeah. met up with the family, and then we came okay. over to A6 house. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. And then plans for the rest of today. I know you're leaving at some point to travel with your sister. Yes. But, like, for tonight and for the rest of the meet, what's the yeah, plan? Yeah, I actually have not been to the 
the track yet because um, the way the buses have been going is it takes sometimes two hours to get there. And oh, I was really? like, oh, knowing wow. me, I'm going to be so stressed out by the time I get there because I'm thinking about going back. So okay. tonight I'll actually go to the track. We'll do okay. some watching and then obviously cheer for Nico and the yeah. men tomorrow okay. and then um, go to Croatia tomorrow night. Awesome. That's yeah. cool. All right. Well, have fun in Croatia and congratulations on Thank a you. fantastic performance. And today. thanks for the cheers out there. Awesome. It was great. All right.